what's up everyone? Back at it again, though I'm not at home in Salt Lake. I decided to take a little trip, you know, go out see a friend who lives in a place that's totally different than what we have back at home. You know, it's easy for us to overlook places like this when we live out somewhere like in the West, but you know, I'm out here hanging with Matt Johnsgard. We're gonna be having a ton of fun, doing some awesome things. And uh, you know, I'm just waiting for my ride. I imagine he's gonna be here any minute. There he is, I'm gonna go. Welcome to Arkansas. What's up? What's up, dude? What's up? Dude, this is awesome. Yeah. Like, we've been talking for what, like, two two years almost now? That's right. It's a full circle moment we for us. We can finally hang out. That's right. That's going to be awesome, man. Yeah. Now you can see what Arkansas is all about. It's, I feel like I'm the only man out, out here. I was going to say, like, I only see you. Like, there's yeah. not many of you guys. Yeah, and we can put a little bush in the bushwhacker. Oh, it's going to be sweet, yeah. dude. And you can just uh, hop in the old Pioneer here with me see what it's all about. Oh, well, that's going to be fun. Let's do it, Let's dude. Do it. Woo! All right, so we are headed to a special little spot. Not very well known, but that's why you hang out with guys like Matt, because he's a local and he can take you to all the cool spots just like we do in Utah with people. So Matt, tell us about what we're getting into here. We are going to a little place, not well known as Luke said, called Buzzard Roost. It's a slot canyon slash cave just deep in the Ozarks. And the neat thing about it is you don't know if you're going in a slot or a cave or just hanging out on top with the turtle back shaped rock looking over the Ozarks. So you can camp here, you can hike here, you can ride your side by side here. Yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Should be good. I saw your photo of it. I don't know when you took it. It was a while back. Probably in 2021. Yeah, but he I saw this photo we got from there. It's a really cool looking cave shot. It, it looks awesome. So we're gonna see if we can get the same kind of thing. Should be fun. So when I was planning this trip, everyone that I told was like, really? Like Arkansas? You're going to go there? What's there? What's to do in Arkansas? And, you know, at first, you know, before I ever, you know, met Matt on Instagram, you know, I might ask the same thing. But because I follow him, I know there's a lot of potential here. And so came out the first day. He took me down to Hot Springs National Park, which is okay. It was neat to see, but, you know, we're not going to talk much about that. But then second day, we did a five hour kayaking ride on the Buffalo National River. It was awesome. We got chased by a cottonmouth snake and that was fun. But uh, it was great. We ended up having dinner in a little local small town later that night. And then the next day, uh, we did a little sunrise hike at one of the most photographed spots in all of Arkansas. It was beautiful. And then we hit five waterfalls after that you know there's so much to do around here and i've seen matt's profile and i see everything he does and like so much of this stuff is so close and there's a ton of waterfalls cool hikes like and just to prove a point like we're already at the spot that we're supposed to get to here and you know it's just a short little drive and then like i don't know a hundred foot hike down to get to so let's check this place out dude this is this is wild Little cave. We can go down that cave, Matt? Yes, sir. Dude. And you said we're going to be underneath all these rocks. Yes, sir. Wow. Dude, so this is crazy, man. Mm -hmm. You said there's like snakes everywhere? Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, that's, uh, that's good to know. 
Dude, this is pretty freaking cool. Dude, this is insane. Mm. I'm gonna try not to die while I'm vlogging. Here we go. Oh. Mom, sorry if you're watching. Dude, this is crazy. So this used to be a collapsed, or this used to be a cave that collapsed. And this here, what you're looking at, used to be like the main like exit entrance of the cave looking out yonder that's pretty sweet you, you can go all the way down there matt we can go down there want to see it for yourself let's go heck yeah dude all right we are heading down into the cave a little steep trail so matt what would you say what are the chances we see a snake down here uh 70 percent oh god Anxiety levels higher than they ever have been. But that's why I'm wearing boots, not the, not the Chacos. So we'll see. If we don't come out alive, you know where to find us. Dude. This looks awesome. Okay, if it's a little dark, I'll try to help you with that. Some settings here, but look at all this. This is wild. So to your right, you will see another exit slash entrance chute. And the entrance is kind of still there. Dude, this is crazy. Can't see back in here, but it's a little cave. So this is dark, kind of scary. You think it's safe to go in here? Yeah. Oh gosh. If I come out screaming like a little girl. Oh man, this is crazy. What? Oh man, I'm so scared of stepping on a snake. Oh God. <laughs> Dude, I wish you guys could see this. This is like a little slot canyon back at home, but it's a collapsed cave. This is freaking cool. Let's come back out here where we can see. So people camp down in here, Matt? Yes, sir. That's awesome. Minus the snakes. Yeah. Snake? <laughs> what? You build it under here, under these rocks? The fire? Oh, with the fire? Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I think right here is where you can set up shop. That looks like a nice fire then, ring. You know. The bear's cave back there. That's correct. Alright, so this is one of the first shots that I ever saw of Matt's. He was actually looking right up through here, right where he's sitting up there. But it's one of the first things I saw of his and how we kind of connected. And it's just such a cool place, you know? And like, again, you know, we all kind of overlook places like Arkansas, because we're like, oh, we're in Utah. It's the best state for all this stuff. And it's like, yeah, you know, to an extent that's right. But it just goes to show like, this is a great example that you can find all this cool stuff. I mean, look at those cliffs. You can find all this cool stuff in other places that you would never expect. And you just gotta, you know, do your research, meet the right people, like I met Matt. And yeah, it's just really cool. And there's, there's a lot of other cool things to do here in Arkansas too. You know, like this is not just the only thing. You know, Matt does a lot of waterfalls. There's a ton here. And so we're gonna try and take you to at least one of his favorites. We'll see timing wise what we can do. We can't get there now, so we're gonna have to pick this up again either in the morning or another day or whatever, but yeah. So we'll go check out some waterfalls, show you guys a little bit more of Arkansas. We'll see you later. Peace out. And we're back. Another day here in Arkansas. Yesterday, we did, we showed you guys Buzzard's Roost which is a really cool rock formation out here. And today, we're gonna give you a little taste of what the waterfall life is like out here. So we're heading down here. I'm gonna show you one that we're getting down to. Um, I'm gonna make sure I get down this little ledge safely, but we'll meet you guys down here at the creek, okay? All right, let's see. 
Matt, you uh, you told me this is a creek. This is a river. Yeah, we're about to cross it. We gotta cross it? Fuzzy butt awaits. That way. All right, let's go get it. All right, here we go. In the water. Woo, that's a little cold. Woo. That water's cold today, Matt. Man, look at this. We're just in the creek. All righty. It's not too deep here. It's just a couple inches up to your ankles. That's not bad, but beautiful little area to walk through. And the, the waterfall we're going to can be all the way through those bushes. All these sticks scratch up your legs. Eventually we'll make it back there. It's just a matter of time. So this really is not a long hike, despite me trying to make it out to be. We're almost there. Almost there. Another creek crossing. It's good to wash off all the mud on your shoes. All right, this is the last little journey back. It's going to be a great view, and there, in the back, you have the fuzzy butt. Dude, that's cool. Look at that. It's in this huge bowl, with its own little secluded waterfall. It's beautiful. Wow. This is cool, dude. This is pretty freaking sweet. And so, this is just one of the many areas that we can see, yeah. right? There's at least 12 more along the road that we can just drive on here. No way. No way. That's a lot. Yeah, you wanna see them? We can go see them. Let's but go. Let's do a little bit more here. We gotta shoot this place I first. mean, yeah, you gotta get this canyon. Absolutely. And the fuzzy. Yeah. Let's check it out. So freaking cool. Matty, you said there's another cool one we can go see? You said there's another cool waterfall we can go see, huh? Let's go do it. That's it. it. Alright, we are back on the trail. We're kind of battling time here a little bit, so we're trying to crank this out. But we're going to one of Matt's top five waterfalls here. And just for context of how many are here, in this little strip we're at in Richland, you know, he said there's like eight to nine easily accessible falls, but there is at least 30 plus known ones. And this place, Matt, how far is this from your house? 40 minutes. 40 minutes from his house. 30 plus waterfalls. I mean, it's freaking crazy. You know, we don't have anything like this in Utah at least as far as water goes. But how cool is it you come out every day if you want and just see some different waterfalls. It's pretty sweet. It's a beautiful little hike around. There's a creek right down through there. We're just kind of hanging along the side of this hill going all the way back to this waterfall. We'll actually kind of come to one and then we're gonna split off and go right towards the one that we're targeting. So the other falls is right up there. So we're gonna go this way, up the, up the cliff. This is gonna be even more tired. Yeah. All right, so we were supposed to get, what, like three inches of rain today, Matt? Yes, yeah, three inches of rain here in Arkansas, but we've maybe got a couple drops, so, We'll see how the flow's doing today. So I have to figure it out. But hey, at least we're outside. And that's what matters. Bro, you want me to climb this? Come on. Oh my god. Oh thank god, downhill. Very steep downhill though. Oh, you can hear it. 
That means we got something down there. Hopefully it's good. All right, and there we have it. This is, what'd you say the name was? Splashdown. Splashdown Falls. This is pretty cool. It's in its own little bowl, just like Fuzzy Butt. Pretty sweet. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, it just, it just goes to show that, you know, you can find beautiful things anywhere, even in Arkansas. Isn't that right, Matt? You know, this is like our sixth waterfall in two days. You know, we have a handful more we're going to go see in the next few days. But, uh, yeah, just incredible. Man, just awesome. I mean, you know, it's, I think the point of this vlog was really just to show that, you know, places like Arkansas, might be overlooked and a little bit underrated. And you know, we just let them go under the radar a bit because we're blessed with so many amazing things out west. But it's just a good example of, you know, you can go somewhere you never thought you'd go and find a ton of amazing things. And you know, maybe it inspires you to get out and see somewhere you haven't seen before. Maybe you come out and hang out with uh, the King of Richland himself. Come chase with me. The waterfall king. You know, be cool. That's what this whole community building thing's about. It's kind of fun. So, I think we're going to end the vlog here at one of Matt's favorite waterfalls. And we'll come on home to Utah. But first, we'll show you a little bit of B-roll from all the other falls we're going to see after this. So, see you guys later. Honestly though, for how awesome Arkansas has been, I gotta say, the best thing of this trip, the pizza sticks. From a place called The Store. Literally the name, The Store. It's the only place in town.